Absolute pleasure seeing you guys again. Great to see you. Uh, one of my favorite things, you know, I'm a huge film nerd and I love trailers. And like, even when I was a kid, I'd watch uh, trailers and be like, wait a minute, that shot wasn't in that, mm -hmm. and this like that. But And maybe it was a deleted scene or something that didn't make it, but you guys are manipulating things uh, to a different different level. Yeah. Whose idea was that and why did you feel the need to do it? Well, well look, it, again, it, it all boils down to we like we have as much passion for this as anybody, right? Sure. So, and we like you want to experience these stories in the in the movie theater. You don't want to have too much tip to ahead of time. Absolutely. I mean, that's how we that's how we approach it as film fans. So yeah, we simply do it. Look, there's so much. The fandom is so powerful and so intense for these films. People know them so well. Yeah. You have to work very hard to make sure that people aren't sort of like running down. Uh, running down narrative ideas that may be correct or may not be correct. <laughs> sure. But it's like we, ju we just try to take the pressure off of what people know coming into the movie theater. Yeah, there's a lot of people have 10 years of their lives invested in these stories. I mean, can you imagine if they read about the ending in a headline? It would be <laughs> it, it would be devastating. It's not sure. the way you yeah. want it to happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. And I'm 100% with it because it yeah. keeps you on your toes. Like, why not? Absolutely. Yeah. That's, exactly. That's it. Then you can share the experience with whoever you're in the theater with. Yeah. You know? When people, because I'm sure people come at you left and right giving you Theories and like I mean I'm sure it gets old after <laughs> after a while. Like if someone has, if someone nails it just really close, I mean you, you just smile. And go uh huh yeah sure. <laughs> I mean it's interesting because very rarely is it people come close because you're trying to be surprising with these things. I don't know that anyone ever said to us, I bet you kill half the characters at the end of this one. <laughs> like it's you know that's the job is to how, how can we surprise ourselves? How can we surprise you? Yeah. Uh, and so you know a lot of uh, thought and energy goes into that. So hopefully that keeps. It keeps it away from people being able to guess what happens. Also, I'd say, too, a lot of times when, when a guessing goes on, it's usually more of like a, in a general headline sense, like what happens. And the fun of the movie really isn't the headlines. The fun of the movie is the details. Yeah. Obviously, in the news recently, you know, the, the pre-sales are just out of control. Sites are crashing to get tickets for the first night and stuff like that. When you see that those reports, does it put more pressure on you or does it ease the pressure just a little bit knowing that, We'll probably be all right. Well, there's no, I mean, <laughs> yeah. like, we stopped working on the movie last night, so there's no pressure anymore for oh, us. It's, yeah. gone. it's out of our hands. <laughs> the it's, movie it's, is it's, what it is. It's in the universe's hands now. You know, I, I'm curious, you know, you guys are fantastic film directors. If you weren't doing film, what do you think your career would be? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I have never really thought about that. Yeah. Yeah. Are we allowed to say like writer, even though that's in sure. the ballpark? Yeah, maybe I'd write. <laughs> Just write the, two doors down to the left. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, this is probably, you know, you speak how big this movie is and event wise. For you, you know, being film lovers, lovers yourself, you know, what's a iconic movie that, you know, that is this level from your childhood? Well, what? I mean, Empire Strikes Back yeah, changed us. Yeah, I mean, that was, <laughs> that I think was we were seminal. 11 when that, he was 12, I was 11 when that came out. And I think we saw Star Wars in the theater when we were very young. And um, the, that, you know, going in without any context. No. Yeah. Because we weren't reading the newspaper, and you're lucky if you saw a trailer like that because we were kids. We didn't go to a lot of movies at that age. And going in fresh to that film, it, like, blew our minds. And I sat there and watched it all day long back to back. Yeah. Just to keep getting that experience over and over. And that's really why we make movies, and it's why we're so protective of these films, because we want kids to go into these movies and have the same experience that we had. Yeah. You know, no spoilers, obviously, but I'm curious, you know, whether it happens or not in the movie, but just in your own personal heart, which character would you uh, hate to see go? Of all these characters, I mean, I think anything I we said... I hate to see any of them go. Yeah. yeah. Myself. But, that's, yeah. that's the answer. We'll that. yeah. <laughs> You're like, half of them. I was like, how do we spin this? How do we spin this? <laughs> you know, and speaking, you know, um, you know, the, the level of this movie, and I know that you're working on something after this, it's probably a little bit smaller. Yeah. Would you want to jump back into the game to something this big again? Or is this kind of like... We, we love yeah, these we, movies. We love I mean, they're not movies. like... Yeah, they don't, feel, they don't feel daunting to us in any way. I mean, we've created a, a, a really efficient process... We have an incredible group of collaborators that we work with that, you know, everybody takes the pressure off of each other. So yeah. having done four of these in six years, I think we feel like we have a really efficient team. Yeah. You know? Is there ever a moment when you guys have a conflicting issues and you're like, you can't come to a head and you're like, coin flip, let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think honestly, everything gets beat up to the point where like, whatever, this, whatever idea is still standing, that's the winner. For both of you, uh, who influenced your style of filmmaking? Oh, a lot of directors. I mean, we, we grew up, I mean, look, we love the movies that everybody loves, but we also grew up watching a lot of world cinema. Uh, we had a great uh, theater near us called the Cleveland Cinema Tech, and we would go there and watch. So we, we grew up on, like, uh, the Italian neorealists and uh, the French New Wave, and, you know, but also all the classic American directors. I think, like, you know? Sergio Leone, Scorsese, Coppola, uh, the Coen brothers, yeah. a huge influence on us. Um, 
I think, uh, Truffaut. <laughs> yeah. And is there uh, a movie that's not widely popular out there that you love personally that people would be surprised to know? Uh, Crawl. I saw one. Crawl in the movie theater three times. I just bought that on Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah, I love Crawl. And it holds up. Yeah, oh, yeah. It holds up. Yeah. You got one for you? Crawl 2? Yeah, Crawl 2. There yeah. you go. Not the sequel. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you.